From the Arkansas Storm Team, tracking winter weather. Ice and sleet forecasted today across Arkansas. The winter storm blowing in a lot earlier than anticipated, causing a scramble for many families today. Good evening, everyone, and thank you for joining us for Fox 16 News. I'm Kevin Kelly. This is what many people in northwest Arkansas are dealing with now, and this may be what it looks like for our area, especially overnight. Tonight, we are covering it for you from the forecast to the roads, electricity concerns, and of course, what schools are doing. Our Arkansas Storm Team is on hand all around central Arkansas with Katrin Asaf, Jessica Rank, Gary Burton Jr., and meteorologist Alex Libby. We begin in the Weather Center with Alex. So, what are conditions looking right, right now, and what can we expect in the coming hours? Well, Kevin, we had that big burst of sleet and freezing rain this morning, and that put a lot of sleet in places like Conway and north and west of there, uh, and that definitely made roadways difficult. For now, we are dealing with kind of a slower bit of uh, sleet and freezing rain that are falling. We still are under that winter storm warning as of right now, and as we move into the next few hours, we're going to start seeing that freezing rain and sleet pick up again. But there it is on your satellite and radar. You can see that first burst. Uh, is now past us into the north and east, and we're currently seeing a little bit lighter stuff. That doesn't mean we're out of the woods. That doesn't mean the storm's over, but we have a, a little bit slower precipitation falling right now, and that is helping the roadways a little bit. I know there's icy spots, especially on bridges and overpasses, but with temperatures right around freezing here in Little Rock, we are seeing a little bit of improvement on the roads. As we head into the evening, though, we are expected to see temperatures drop below freezing, and we're going to continue to see that sleet and that freezing rain. So we're hoping for more sleet than freezing rain, because freezing rain, that causes power outages. Uh, sleet it will obviously make for slick roadways, but eventually we're going to start to see it wrap up later on Thursday. All of the details on that coming up in my full forecast. All right, Alex, thank you very much. We want to remind you to make sure you have the Arkansas Storm Team app on your phone so that you stay up to date with the weather as it continues to change throughout the night. If you don't have it, it's easy to download with the help of the QR code that's on your screen right now. Just point your phone's camera at the code and follow the simple directions. It works on both Apple and Android phones. In preparation of the roads, turning icy, the Arkansas Department of Transportation out busy prepping and treating the ground. Take a look at this behind the scenes video that RDOT posted to social media today showing its simple recipe for salt brine. After it's all mixed up and ready to go, it's sprayed across roads all around the state. And it is much needed, especially across the northern part of the state and down into parts of central Arkansas. As you can see from the iDrive camera here, it's so cold outside right now that even the lens is frosted over and as we show you the map a little bit closer uh, there are various colors which indicate what those road conditions look like many of them especially in northwest arkansas covered in slush and ice and the roads are expected to get worse throughout the remainder of the night with the cold and slush on the roadways everyone's eyes are carefully on the road ahead of them our katrin asaf joins us live near i-40 in north little rock where a midday rush to get home resulted in some pretty rough conditions. Katrin. Yeah, Kevin, that's right. You know, earlier in this month when we had that storm system, we were talking about the dangers of freezing rain and sleet on roadways. We're seeing something very similar today. Now, while the weather did catch a lot of people by surprise here in Little Rock, and that plus this midday rush for people to get home caused a couple of issues on the roadways. Now, the weather finally started to change earlier this morning, but by 11 o'clock, many places decided to call it a day as the roads continued to get worse. Schools all let out at the same time, and parents left work to get their families home, which caused the interstate to be flooded with people. That, coupled with the bad driving conditions, led to quite a few accidents. For example, from MLK to Rodney Parham, we saw three just passing through. One driver we caught up with was headed home from work and says the traffic is more more than doubling commute time. One of our other staff members called me and she had left at like 10 o'clock and it took her two and a half hours to get home. 
RDOT says they are hard at work making sure that roadways are as safe as possible. Lying down a salt brine to try and prevent those icy spots that we saw earlier. The biggest thing is really just to be patient and of course go slow. Another thing to note is we have these trucks moving by is that you can check the iDrive app to see what road conditions are, especially on those interstates. There's going to be live cameras going as well as traffic updates and those accident updates. But because we've seen so many incidents across Arkansas, there is a delay right now in getting those accidents on the app. So make sure you are just keeping track and, of course, watching the Arkansas Storm Team for the latest weather conditions. Reporting in North Little Rock, Kate Tanesa, back to you. All right, Katrin, thank you very much. 88 Arkansas Guard members will hit the roads across the state to help Arkansas State Police keep drivers out of harm's way. The National Guard says the men and women will be deployed from now until they are no longer needed. The roads are getting slick, as Katrin just mentioned, because of the freezing rain, and power lines are getting heavy, which is a major concern, especially as we head into the overnight hours. Fox 16's Gary Burton Jr. speaking with electrical companies on what they're expecting this freezing weather to produce. Gary. Yeah, Kevin, Entergy tells me that they already have crews stationed in parts of Arkansas that they feel will see major outages. Now, I also spoke with the electrical co-ops of Arkansas, and patience is what they are asking for as crews work to restore power. And they explained to me how they operate, and that is the area with the highest number of people with outages are restored first. So if you're one of the last ones on a power line circuit, then you'll probably be the last to get your power back on. But that's why crews are already in motion to get power restored as quickly as possible and energy is even bringing in extra hands. We are also asking for some of our sister operating companies to send crews up here too. We don't have those numbers just yet, but we will be ready to start making repairs and restoring power as quickly as we can do so safely. And just like she mentioned, safety is the main word. So if you see down power lines, do not go near them because they could be live, dangerous, and deadly. And like, and make sure that you report those power outages along with those down power lines as soon as you see them. To stay updated with the power loss in the state, you can go to our fox16.com and we'll have that link posted. Reporting live in Little Rock, I'm Gary Burton Jr. Back to you, Kevin. All right, Gary, appreciate the update. Thank you, sir. It was a mad dash from work to school for many parents today as schools sent out mass emails and messages saying they were releasing students early today ahead of the wintry weather mix. Our Jessica Rank is live in Little Rock this evening with a reaction from parents and school officials as this all went down. Jessica. Yeah, Kevin, I think the weather was certainly a surprise for all of us today as that storm system moved in a little quicker than expected. But school districts all across central Arkansas say once they did get the word, it was all hands on deck to try and get kids out and home safely. Cars lined up and kids rushed out the door. Crazy time. So I thought maybe we'd get the day in first. Within hours, class schedules at Caldwell Elementary in Benton changed as winter weather made its way into central Arkansas. A lot of bus drivers, they were gone for the day. School leaders made the decision for early dismissal at 10.30 this morning. With pickup at noon, that leaves just an hour and a half to get students in cars. How are we going to put this in action? How are we going to get, how are we going to get the kids? How are we going to get there? And, and what are we going to do the rest of the day? Matt Tebow is a Benton school parent. He says he was at work in Little Rock when the text came through. Rushed through some stuff and then and then bounced. He says he had to take the day off. Other parents say they got lucky. I'm at home on Wednesdays, so it was easy today. <laughs> Campuses all over central Arkansas, hectic. Get the word out to the Boys and Girls Club, get the word out to daycares, get the word out to anywhere where our kids go after school. But school leaders say it's about rolling with the punches. I think the biggest thing is teamwork. All hands on deck for a safe return home. Now, several school districts in the area have already announced AMI or virtual days tomorrow. To stay up to date on all of those, you can visit our website, fox16.com slash closures. This is the very latest out here in Little Rock. I'm Jess Crank. Kevin, back to you. All right, Jessica, get warm now. Thanks for the update.